Welcome to the VarsityKansas.com Big Show. I am Joanna Chadwick of the Wichita Eagle and VarsityKansas.com, and we are taping here at KSN. My guest today is Mays soccer coach Jay Holmes. Coach, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Well, let's talk about your team, always one of the best in the area, and you guys always come in with high expectations. This year was no different, was it? No, you know, the girls, uh, before the season started, we always have a discussion about uh, goals for the season and there are always three. One is to be competitive in the Titan, to win league, and then be successful at state, which is something that we haven't done here recently. Well, when you say successful at state, mm -hmm. you've had success at state, just not what you want, am I right? Yeah, it's, a, it's ultimately a state championship is what we want and we've just fallen short the last seven years, I think. That gets a little bit frustrating. How do you handle that with the girls? Do you use it as a motivational thing? Do you use it, play with the chip on your shoulder? How do you handle that? You know, we use it as motivation going into the next season and really take a look and, and evaluate what we accomplished the year before and, you know, what things we need to do to improve to put ourselves in a position to be successful come playoff time. You guys lost your first game. Mm -hmm. uh, 3-2 in overtime to Blue Valley West, or Blue Valley North, excuse me. I've had it in my head all day that it was Blue Valley West. I apologize. <laughs> um, where, how do you handle that here? It's late in the season. It's the first loss. Where do you go from there? You know, I, I just told the girls to consider this game to be, uh, you know, a playoff game. And, you know, for, for, the, for the entire game, they played like it was a playoff game. And we were up 2-1 to one, uh, within the last six minutes of the game and, and unfortunately gave up a goal that tied it and lost in overtime. But without those type of close games, uh, you know, it's, you need to have those in order to be able to be successful at state, I think. Well, and let's talk about scheduling. Uh, that's something that you really work at, making sure that, because you guys do tend to kind of cruise through your regular season schedule, how important is it to schedule those tough teams? It, it's, it's, it's really important. I mean, this year we have had Trinity on our schedule, who's a you know, perennial powerhouse in 4A. Uh, certainly, you know, Capon is, is, is a powerhouse as well at, at 5A, and we always play them in the Titan Classic. And, and administration has, has really done a good job in working with us uh, to get a couple Kansas City area schools on our schedule. Played Olathe Northwest uh, this year up there, 1-4-1, one, to one, and then, like you said, just recently lost to Blue Valley North Saturday, 3-2. to two in a tight game. This year your team is a little bit different than expected. Whitney Lucas tore an ACL right before the season. How have your kids really kind of moved on from that and, and still had a great year? You know, they were uh, you know, they were so surprised, as was I, you know, a week prior to tryouts. You know, uh, Whitney calls me and tells me that she, you know, she tore ACL and is going to be out for the season. That's just such a devastating season-ending injury. Uh, and, you know, and the girls felt felt horrible for her. But injuries create opportunities for, for players, and, and that's certainly been the case this year with the, the, the forward attack that we've generated throughout the course of the season. And talk about some, some of those players who really have come through. You know, uh, Katie McClure, uh, you know, Katie McClure and Paige Swanson, Swanson both stand out to me. I mean, they just complement each well complement each other so well up top. And we have freshman Michaela Toth that has also contributed a great deal this season. Talk defensively, Sage Ballman missed the game on Saturday against Blue Valley North, mm -hmm. but she's been very strong strong for you in goal. How about the rest of your defense? Uh, you know, Kelsey, you know, I have a lot of continuity in the back over the course of the last two or three years. I have Kelsey Quick and, and uh, Addison Keegre and Tyler Young. They, they're all three-year starters with uh, sophomore Tana Benefield playing in front of her. Uh, you know, I... I love those, that defensive back four and those outside backs do such a great job of getting involved in the attack. Uh, you know, I couldn't be any more proud of that group. Well, and your midfielders too. I mean, they hold their own, don't they? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like I had mentioned to you earlier off camera, you know, I think Hadley Davis is probably one of the most underrated midfielders in the state. Uh, her along with Ashley Zane in the, mid in the middle, uh, they just do a great job in there, winning those 50-50 balls and transitioning our attack. So you make sure to play those Kansas City area teams and consistently the Wichita area struggles against any Kansas City area whether it's it's 5A or 6A how can this area get better at soccer to win some titles you know I think by scheduling the way we're scheduling cert certainly helps and and by uh, those girls seeing that type of competition during the season can only put us in a better position to be successful come come playoff time. Uh, you know, th those schools in the Kansas City area, you know, those are schools that you know have a have a large number of kids that attend. You know, we when we were at Olathe Northwest, I think they had 2,300 kids, 
in, in their school, which represents a larger pool of players, and especially in the Kansas City area, a larger pool of club players, uh, you know, that present challenges for us down here in the south central part of the state. We'll talk about regionals now. We got regional pairings coming out this weekend. When you head into regionals, how well do you want them to be playing? Does this worry you at all that you had a loss this close to regionals? No, the, the loss doesn't worry me because I thought we played very well in that game and put ourselves in position in a position to win. And you know, unfortunately, we just came up short. It, it wasn't like it was a blowout. The girls were competitive throughout the course of the game, and you know, I think we're playing our best soccer at this point of the year, and I think they're ready. Are you ready for the postseason? Absolutely, absolutely. We have two tough games this week against uh, Derby and Hutch. Uh, you know, these these games are important for us to to uh, be successful in in order to win our league, which is one of the goals that we've established. And and hopefully we can kind of carry that momentum going into the postseason next week. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Coach. I sure do appreciate it. Good luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you for watching the VarsityKansas.com Big Show. I will be chatting live on VarsityKansas.com on Wednesday, so feel free to join me then. And we got state tennis this weekend, so I hope you're enjoying the end of the sports year, the sports season. It's coming up quick. Enjoy your week.